enjoying the show? You can help others find it and enjoy it too by giving us a five-star rating or review. If you feel like reaching out to us with a question or comment, you can send us an email at mywifetherd at gmail.com. And don't forget to visit our website at mywifethedietitian.com, as well as our social media pages. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Enjoy the show. It's Rob and Sandra from My Wife the Dietitian, and this is Nutrition Nuggets. It sure is. Hi, Rob. Hello, Sandra. We have a fridge magnet on our fridge. We have a few fridge magnets. It's, it says, is this stomach, mouth, or heart hunger? I always ignore that (laughs) because I'm like, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to eat. Okay. But that's just me. Yeah, that's just me. Well, today we're talking about hunger versus appetite. Mm, What's the difference? Mm. And you're going to, you're going to ask me to explain that, I'm sure. Well, I wanted to highlight that it's good to realize there's a difference between hunger and appetite. What do you think is the difference? It's one physical and one uh, like a mental, uh, like like you, like one's your your body and one's your brain. Ooh, that is high level. No, are we getting? Is this too compl- <laughs> too complicated for you? Do you want me to bring it down a bit? <laughs> no, that's great. Mm-hmm. That's exactly one's physiological, like physical, and the other one is more psychological. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense actually. Now that you've made me think about it, that, that does make sense. And that it will explain a lot of things and a lot of the ways that people approach their eating. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, it's easy to just be on autopilot or it's a certain time of day, oh, it's dinner time, you know, that kind of thing for reasons to eat. Here's a question for you. And maybe maybe this is not the right time to ask this. Um, do we always need to be hungry in order to eat? Is it okay to eat? If you're, if it's like a, uh, whatever the other version of hunger is, what are we calling it? Like if it's just like emotional hunger or you feel like eating or whatever. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's a good question. I don't think I have all the answers to the universe, but we did do an episode about intuitive eating with Sandra Teese. Mm-hmm. Um, episode 72 intuitive eating what's it all about right yeah we've done a few different episodes about this type of well around this topic i guess well yeah and then um episode 74 was with wendy shaw Mm -hmm. from craving change and that's actually where the fridge magnet came from is the craving change that's their slogan or something or it's just yeah it's good it's good to ask yourself that i guess if you're struggling with I guess, what, overeating maybe or trying to lose weight and or just trying to be healthy, I guess it's we all eat. So it's good to understand why you're eating. Yeah. And it's it's not their slogan. It's just a tool in the toolbox to Mm. help people become more mindful around the reasons for eating. Is this stomach, mouth or heart hunger? Right, right. And with the groups that I lead with uh, various groups uh, and various populations, but one of the most recent ones were women, midlife women, and we talk about reasons for eating. And we write down, like, is it stomach, mouth, or heart hunger? And we look at all the reasons people eat, and we all eat, and we circle the heart hunger ones, and there's that's the majority of the reasons that most people eat. Yeah, I can see that. Just based on how I eat, I think a lot of it is just, yeah, I'm not always hungry. That's why I was asking if it's a bad thing because eating eating plays more than just feeding our bodies. It, it also makes us feel good. Like there's an emotional co- uh, component to it as well, right? Yeah. It, it can serve that as well. So sometimes when we're eating, it's not because we're hungry. It's because it just, it soothes us or it, it's, you know, it helps us with whatever we're dealing with, you know? Yeah. Actually, we did an episode, uh, episode 25 on curb cravings when we're feeling addicted to sweets. So that's another one people can check out because as you mentioned, like it soothes us or we have cravings. So that is definitely um, a reason for eating. And actually, okay, let's just go back a bit and say the hunger, the definition of hunger is the physiological need for food. Mm -hmm. And it's our body's way of signaling that we need 
nutrients and energy. Right. So that's like your stomach's rumbling and you're getting like moody and, and all those things that happen when you need to eat. Yeah. The hangry feeling. Yeah. I think we did an episode on that, um, mm-hmm. feeling hangry. Um, yeah, exactly. You feel weak, maybe, maybe Disney, dizzy. A little Disney. <laughs> feeling like a little princess. Start singing like songs and a high little voice, that kind of stuff. You're so funny. Oh, I, like, <laughs> I like to make it interesting. D- okay, okay, I missed my word. It, I said dizzy. Oh, dizzy. Yes, yes, feeling dizzy, maybe headachey, low like blood sugar, just feeling kind of weak. So that's, yeah, exactly. So why is that happening? Because maybe your blood sugar level has gone down, you haven't eaten for a while, your stomach is grumbling, and you need energy. Makes you, sense. You need yep. food, you need fuel. Absolutely. So like when your car runs out of gas, it starts acting funny too, right? It's It, it makes sense if your body's starting to run out of fuel, you're going to have some symptoms. Right. So it's good to it's good to know what they are. I think most of us know when we feel hungry. Well, I guess not. I mean, this is like the physical. We, we're all used to feeling that feeling in our belly that's like, oh, my belly's rumbling. I'm, I'm hungry. There's people that I've talked to, clients, that after decades of dieting, they do not feel hungry. They've shut that internal cue off. Oh, no way. Yeah, they do not feel it. They can't feel it. And if they do feel it, they feel like they've conquered their body. Like they've like, it's a win. Oh, I feel hungry. That's a win. I'm not eating. Yeah, I'm on my diet. Oh, wow. Haven't you heard that? Uh, yeah, maybe actually uh, you've kind of mentioned that. I never thought of that though. That's true. Yeah. Like, it's you're, like You've retrained your brain to like react differently to those feelings. That's right. That's right. And and it's like, you know, with the intermittent fasting phase and, and fad that oh, people true. are in, that's another thing, right? It's like, oh, I can't eat because it's a certain time. It's like, oh. I have to stop eating after 7 p.m. and I can't eat again till noon or 1 p.m. the next day. Or I'm not eating at all the next day because I'm doing like a whole day fast or mm-hmm. I'm doing a cleanse. Or See, that's diet culture talking. It's diet culture that's driving that. And we're so, there's so many people that are very entrenched in that mindset and that way of thinking around food and eating and appetite and hunger and it's it can be quite damaging. It is a, there is like, definitely we have a relationship with food since we have been born. And as we get older, um, we have, you know, we hear different messages, we, we go through different things in our life, and it causes us to change the way we eat, mm-hmm. and how we approach food. So that's why we're doing this one, because hunger versus appetite is, uh, is something to think about. Well, I think it's really interesting too, to point out, like you just said about, you know, the intermittent fasting and the dieting and, and, and ignoring those hunger cues that your body is saying, Hey, I need food. And it's like, just like your car, you know, like your car's running out of gas, but you're like, no, we're going to push through. We're going to go another hundred K just, just suck it up. Let's go. And then you're broken down on the side of the road and you're wondering why, you know, what happened to your car? Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't think we typically think that way though, when it comes to eating in our bodies and we just think, oh, this is what the diet plan says I got to do. So I got to, I got to wait till 10 o'clock to eat. It's only 830, but I'm hungry, but I got to, I got to wait. I can do it. And yeah, you, you do, you, you, you're basically retraining your brain to ignore those hunger cues and then, yeah, it's going to wreak havoc. Yeah. Down the line, right? Oh, totally. And hmm. we did the episode with Lisa Duncan, episode 60, Diet Culture. And uh, yeah, Diet Culture in the Fitness Industry was the name of that title. And and that was very powerful. It was oh, it gave me goosebumps talking mm-hmm. with her because uh, she's lived, she has a lived experience and being, you know, owning a gym and going through like, just living her life amongst diet culture. And it can be so damaging. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The stories she told were just eye opening for sure. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who relate to what she was saying. So it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So the key differences is, um, hunger is 
physiological or physical, like your body's telling you that it needs food and energy and nutrients. Mm -hmm. And appetite's more psychological. So it's more of a external sensory, like externally driven. So there's sensory, um, the sight of food, the smell of food, the thought of food. Mm -hmm. That's all driving your... Your desire to eat. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what appetite is, a desire to eat. And that's why this fridge magnet says, is this stomach, mouth, or heart hunger? Because it's a way to check in with yourself so that you you stop being on autopilot and you like put your hand up and you say, halt. Like, is this hunger, anger, loneliness, or am I tired? These are all different emotions that are driving me to go to the fridge or driving me to go to the kitchen to eat. And am I really hungry? Like, am I hungry? Do I physically need to eat? And maybe not. And I think you asked, you know, what mm -hmm. was your question? Well, yeah, that kind of brings me back to that original question is like, let's say that you determine that it isn't physical hunger. Does that mean you shouldn't eat? No, no. And that's the great thing about just being mindful, make a conscious choice, right? Mm -hmm. so, so, that, so you're basically just trying to understand what your body is telling you. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. that makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because then if you want to control something, you need to understand it first, right? And if you want to try to control those cravings, if that's what you're having, if that's what those emotional you know, if that's why you're standing looking in the fridge, it's it's to make yourself feel better about something and it's not hunger. If if you want to control those, you need to understand, you need to identify it first. Yeah, like what's driving me? Yeah. What's driving my desire to eat? Mm -hmm. What's driving my appetite, right? Hunger versus appetite. Right, right. What's driving this? And so if we can identify, oh, it's because I always go to the fridge at this time of day or I just had a really bad fight with my boyfriend or I've, you know, I'm just home from work and I'm starving because I haven't eaten all day or, you know, the, so it's good to just figure out why you're eating, you know, because I think a lot of times we just go through life on autopilot and totally. And so it's really good to check in with yourself. And we talked a lot about this with Wendy Shaw from Craving Change on episode 74. Mm -hmm. I find this conversation we just had, uh, really simplified it though because you asked me this question before we did it and i'm like oh i don't know is that something that people really need to know about like is that is that a big deal like the difference between appetite and hunger but now i get it and it's it's huge it's it makes a lot of sense now that we've sort of explained in very sort of black and white terms what the two mean it's easy to now to say to yourself like all you have to say is it hunger mm-hmm and if it isn't, then it's one of those other things, and then you've you've identified it, and and then you can sort of make the decision about w what and what you're going to do if you're going to eat or not, and yeah, understand yeah. why you're doing it. Yeah, with the craving change, there's other tools like y you think of um, the wave of addiction, like not addiction, but the wave when you're feeling like you are addicted to eating something sweet or that you have to eat something. And there's this powerful surge that comes, right? That you you really want it and maybe stop yourself. That's when you can say, halt. Am I hungry, angry, lonely, tired? What's driving my eating? And actually just count, like just like stop for a minute and maybe wait a minute. Like just like literally put your timer on for a minute and don't do anything. Don't reach for whatever it is. And just after a minute, then it's more of a conscious choice. And it's like, yeah, I still want that. I don't care. Or yes, I'm deciding that this is something that I really need right now. Or you can say, you know what? I actually don't need it. And that's where some of the strategies like you've probably heard, oh, you brush your teeth or have a glass of water or you do something that distracts you almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, because that's another thing, like if you know that you're chronically getting into trouble in terms of uh, maybe you're, you know, going overboard with like, you're finding that you're having like binging behavior, um, then you can actually help yourself by checking in and being more mindful and figuring out what's driving your eating. And do, do you really want to do this right now? Maybe you do. 
but maybe you don't because maybe you're going to have that cycle of eat, repent, like feel guilty and awful and disgusting, and then, you know, repeat the behavior because it soothes you. So like, there's a lot to this. And um, the whole reason that I wanted to do this as a nutrition nuggets was just a quick check in about people becoming more mindful around their eating choices and just thinking like, is this hunger or is it, um, is it my appetite that's driving things? And what kind of hunger is it? Stomach hunger, mouth hunger, or heart hunger? Is it an emotional reason, like psychological? Or is it internal that I'm really hungry? I haven't eaten in five or six hours. Of course, I'm going to be hungry. And I should eat because my body needs the nutrition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good, good, interesting and important information. So uh, yeah, good idea. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. And uh, another one we did is hunger scale. Remember that episode mm. 119? Mm -hmm. And we kind of touched on this too. And just like checking in about like how hungry you, you are before you start eating. And then after. So as an example, if you, you know, you're so hungry, you feel like you could eat your arm off, you know, like that's a hunger scale of say, we go one to five. So that would be like, I'm so hungry. It's a, like I'm a one or a zero. Like I'm just like, I'm so hungry. You want to switch around, don't you? You want to say that's a five. I'd say that's a five. Okay. Yeah. So that's a five. Okay. Let's start the um, being really hungry is at the top. And then um, I'm not hungry at all. It's like a one. Yeah. Like I have yeah. just finished a turkey dinner with the family. I have to lie on the couch, open up my the top button of my pants. I'm just like, it's just too much. I don't feel like I'm going to eat for another week. That is like the opposite, right? That's when the pie comes out though. And then you still manage to squeeze a piece <laughs> of pie in. So really you're, you're at a, like a two. Right, right, yeah. right. Oh, that's all. Anyways, it's a scale. <laughs> it's a scale. And it's a good way to monitor yourself. But it's good to be in the middle, like not go of those like crazy uh, roller coaster extremes, of extreme. Yeah. 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 So it's good to be more like around the three, four, mm -hmm. five, you know, yeah. it's usually a scale of one to 10. So you want to be in that mid range there. Yeah, that makes sense. But that's episode 119. So yeah, there's lots of uh, different episodes to refer to for people, but, uh, but uh, wrapping it up, the key differences were, Hunger versus appetite would be hunger is physiological. Mm -hmm. So it's your body driving you to eat. And appetite is psychological because it's more external factors like sensory of like how things taste and smell and look and the thought of food. And then also it's the desire to eat because it could be an emotional desire, could be boredom, could be habit. So that is the main difference. And then the other difference you can think is this a necessity versus preference. So mm, that's, yeah, that's the thing too. I mean, we talked about this with Sandra Tease in Intuitive Eating. And uh, it's okay if, if it's a preference. That's great. We eat for all reasons. We eat for social reasons too, right? When we're celebrating. Mm -hmm. and, but it's good to be aware of the reasons for eating. Uh, the third key difference is with hunger, it's regulation and it, it's internal, whereas the appetite is more stimuli, like it's based around something like externally that's uh, stimulating you to eat. Right, right. So yeah. you think of all those commercials and and uh, like, you know, the bus with the Big Mac on the side or like oh, the yeah. different commercials of food or there's TikTok videos of people like the crazy things out there, eh? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> just just things that, yeah, make you want to eat. Yeah, make you just go, oh, my God, I got to go have a, a McFlurry or, oh, I'm just like, it just drives you to eat because you see it and you can or just you smell it, it or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. triggers something in your brain that makes you want it. Yeah. 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 So that's, uh, yeah. And there's a couple other things like um, episode 49 was all about food and mood. So we touched on that a little bit. Oh, episode 59 is all about chocolate, mm. the healthy pleasures of chocolate. So that's another one to refer to just about uh, the sensory experience of eating 
But yeah, so this is uh, this was an interesting one to talk about hunger versus appetite. Yeah, great idea. Yeah, so check out those other episodes we mentioned. They're, they're all really useful information, a little bit different uh, perspective, but kind of the same general concepts. But it's good to sort of refer back to those and have another listen and uh, yeah, just understand why you're eating. You can also check out our website for more information too. We've got a great blog. We've got a newsletter that you can sign up for that's a, it's a weekly newsletter. You can also email us questions. We get listener questions quite often. We love hearing from you guys. Uh, send us an email if you want to know more or if you have a specific question. It's mywifetherd at gmail.com. You can also find us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Lots going on there. Don't forget to rate and review the show too and share it with a friend. Those are all good things. We appreciate all of that. It helps us keep the show going. It also helps spread the love to your friends because they like to be healthy too. You want to keep everyone healthy and happy. So yeah, so that is it for this show. We'll be back on Wednesday with Nutrition Nuggets. So until then, have a great week, everyone. Thanks for joining us today on My Wife the Dietitian. If you like what you heard, don't be shy. Leave us a comment or review and be sure to share our podcast with your friends. If you'd like to hear more, hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on our social media pages for updates, episode trailers, and other odds and ends. For more info and links on what we discussed on today's episode, check the show notes. We'll be back next week with another informative and fun-filled episode. Thank you.